For any discussion regarding this feeling-based prayer, this lost mode of prayer, uh, sometimes seems a little more than academic uh, until we can actually apply it in our lives or see it applied in our lives. It was in the late 1990s that I had the opportunity to do precisely that when I saw the footage documenting uh, the healing of a life-threatening condition within the body of a living woman using precisely the kinds of techniques that we're speaking about right now. For me, it was this kind of information that took this lost modality of prayer out of the realm of, of academics and into something that's very real that we can apply in our lives. I had the opportunity during that time to see some video footage of the healing of a three inch diameter bladder cancer inside the body of a woman who by medical Western medical standards had been diagnosed inoperable. She had gone as a last resort to a medicineless hospital in Beijing, China. It was in this medicineless hospital where they began simply by addressing uh, the life affirming ways that she could change how she was living her life. They taught her life affirming ways to breathe and life affirming ways to nourish her body gentle movements to stimulate the energy centers in her body. And as she was doing these and strengthening her body, at one point it made sense to undergo a process. Now I'd like to, to share this, I'd like to describe it to you uh, as a very potent example of how the feeling world inside of our bodies has a direct effect, uh, in this case a very graphic effect, on the world beyond our bodies. So in the video documentation, the film shows a woman lying on a, uh, in, in a hospital room. She's fully awake, she's fully conscious, she believes in the process that's about to happen. Before her, there is an ultrasound technician who is running an ultrasound wand over her lower abdomen that we can see on a split screen television. And on the left hand side of the screen, they do a snapshot, a freeze frame of an instant in time for reference so we can see what her condition looked like in that instant in time. On the right hand side of the screen, we are able to watch real time as three practitioners stand behind her, working with the energy in her body and with the feelings in their bodies. And what they do is they begin to chant a word that to them they've agreed upon that reinforces the feeling within them that she's already healed. The chant essentially says already healed, already done. And as they begin to, to have this feeling and to say these words among themselves on the computer screen, on the television screen. We can watch in real time this cancerous tumor as it disappears in less than three minutes real time. It's not like time lapse on a documentary where you see a rose unfold uh, in 30 seconds in something that normally takes days. This literally happens in less than three minutes. Her body responded to the feelings of the practitioners who were trained to have the kinds of feelings that they were having. And all they were feeling was the feeling of what it feels like to be in the presence of a woman who is already healed, fully enabled, fully capacitated. They were not seeing her as a woman who was sick and they weren't saying, bad cancer, you've got to go away. It's a very, very different way of thinking about things and it's a very graphic example of precisely how, uh, how this principle works. I had the opportunity to speak to the gentleman, Luke Chen, that actually created this film. And I asked him, I said, what if those three practitioners weren't there? So could this woman have done this? Could any of us do this on our own? And he smiled at me when I asked him the question. He said, he said, Greg, in all probability, she probably could have done it alone. However, there's something about us humans in that we seem to feel more empowered and stronger when we're supported by others in the things that we believe in and in the things that we choose to accomplish. So while she probably could have had this feeling and done it herself, having these three practitioners work with her uh, was the threshold that it took for her body to respond. All they were doing was having the feeling as if she were already healed and in less than three minutes her body responded. What Western physics now is beginning to tell us is that the same energy, the same field that led to the healing in this woman's body also leads to peace between nations. It's the same thing, different scale, same principle.